Good morning and happy Monday to you, my friends. So if everyone can please stand up and remember that left is green and right is red. And which hand goes over your heart? Right hand facing the flag. And let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty, my friends. We are now in the month of March, so that means we have a brand new recitation. So today's recitation, or the month's recitation, is titled, I Meant to Do My Work Today by Richard Legallian. Okay. I meant to do my work today, but a brown bird sang in the apple tree. And a butterfly flitted across the field, and all the leaves were calling me. And the wind went sighing over the land, tossing the grasses to and fro. And a rainbow held out its shiny hand. So what could I do but laugh and go? And at the end, friends, it ends with a question mark okay so it's asking what else could she do okay so it's talking about a child who really meant to do her work but she had all these distractions so she had like the brown bird who was singing in the apple tree and then she got distracted by a butterfly that flitted across the field. And when it says, and all the leaves were calling me. Now, were the leaves really calling her? No, what that means is there, there was a breeze. And so the leaves were kind of moving, swaying back and forth. And so see the wind, how it says, and the wind went sighing over the land. When it says tossing the grasses to and fro, what that means is it's windy, so the grass is kind of going like this, okay? Tossing it to and fro. And a rainbow held out its shiny hand. Does a rainbow have a hand? No, but what that means is she saw a rainbow, right? So when she says, so what could I do but laugh and go? What that means is all of these other distractions were preventing her from doing her work. And so that's why she says, so what could I do? Right? In other words, but laughing go means just kind of go with, go with it. What's happening in her surroundings outside. All right. So that is what we're doing this month. And remember it is Richard Legallian. Okay. All right, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do morning meeting. So of course, the very, very first thing we do is we draw out student of the day. Last time we were here, which was Wednesday, it was Roy. So let's see who today's student of the day will be. Lily Cherry. Wow. Come on down, Lily. So of course, if Lily was here, the very, very first thing Lily would do is turn the clock to morning, okay? And then Lily would write her first and last name, but because Lily isn't here, Mrs. Harrow will go ahead and write, write it for her. Okay. And then Mrs. Harrow would give Lily, let me fix that better eye that has a mess on it. Okay. Mrs. Harrow would give Lily her student of the day sticker. And then 
is Lily a pointer and say, all righty, young lady, you are on. And Lily would, Lily would say, this here thing is called a calendar. And this here is called a month. And what month are we in? Oh, we have a brand new month, friends. March. 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 So we are now in the month of March. And this here is called the year. And what year are we in? 2021. Now, friends, if yesterday was Sunday, then that means that today is Monday. But let's just double check, friends. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And how many days are in a week? Seven days in a week. Now, friends, it looks like we have a number day missing. And it is the very, very first number in a month. So that would be what number? Mm -hmm. The number one. And do we know if it is an A, B, A, B, B, or an A, B, C pattern? Not yet. All we know is that, oh, and this one is missing. It's a little sticky. All we know, friends, is that, that we have a green hexagon. That's all we know, right? So, we'll go ahead and put our green hexagon right there. All right. So, now we know that it is Monday, right? but we don't know our pattern yet. Maybe tomorrow or maybe Wednesday we'll know. But, in the meantime, let's go ahead and help Lily with the letters in our new month. So, we're going to begin with A. Capital M. And remember, friends, when we write Danillion M's, the hump or the middle part of the M stops at the dotted line. Okay, so we have M, Danillion A, R, C, and a Danillion H. March. And of course, we're going to finger space and we're only going to write one digit. Okay. One followed by a comma, comma number. It is a space. And please help me with the digits in the year. We have two, zero, two, one. All right. So now let's go ahead and read, this one was terrible, read today's date with Lily. So here we go. Today's date is Monday, March 1st, 2021. Now friends, on Wednesday, we were here 100 23 days. So what would come after 123? 123, 120, 124. So let's go ahead and draw out. Very, very first one is we will draw out a our great big bundle of 100s. And we're going to follow with 10s. So 110. 120, and then we're going to follow with Mrs. Ones. So 120, one, 122, 123, 124. So now let's go ahead and graph this on our days in school. Let's look here. In our 100s column, I am going to add a 1. 
in Mr. Ten's column, well, one plus one equals two. So I write a two in Mr. Ten's column. And then let's look at Mrs. One's. So if I have, uh oh, the power got. If I have three plus one, that equals four. All right, so we'll write the number four in there. Now let's see if our Days in school tag matches. Do we have one great big bundle of 100s? Mm -hmm. Do we have two Mr. 10s? Mm -hmm. Do we have four Mrs. 1s? Mm -hmm. So how many days have we been in school? Wow, 124. That is a whole lot of days, friends. It is hard to believe. All righty, so let's go ahead and do our coin cup. Coin cup, coin cup. And of course, in my coin cup, I have some coins. I am going to drop our pennies in the coin cup, and I need you to count with me for our tally marks. So here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, no. I almost did a five. Tally up five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tally up ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Tally up. 15, 16. All right, so now when we count these bundles right here, friends, these are bundles of fives. So let's go ahead and count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 16. So we have 16 cents and 16 tally marks. All righty, it is now time for Mystery bag. Da, da, da. All righty, friends. So please go ahead and turn on your morning brains. And today we are going to do a different concept. So today, friends, I put six green linking cubes in my mystery bag. So I want you to think about. I then placed two yellow linking cubes in my mystery bag. I want to know how many more green than yellow are in my mystery bag. So listen again. So today in my mystery bag, I first placed six green linking cubes. I then placed two yellow linking cubes. I want to know how many more greens than yellow are in my bag. Well, today's concept is thinking about pairs. You know how we kind of visit it on, does this one have a pair? Does this one have a pair? Yeah, so let's, let's look at both of these. Okay. So here I have, let's count our linking cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six green. And then here I have one, two. So I'm going to put them together. Okay, just like that. And the question is, we want to know how many more green than yellow. Well, we know that these two have a pair and these two have a pair. But look here. These do not have a friend. So let's count how many more. One, two, three, four. So there are four more green than the yellow. Okay, so that's what we're going to start doing now. So starting tomorrow, I'll start asking friends. You have to think about that, all right? 
Okay, let's go ahead and do our number lines. Let's go ahead and start with hundreds, friends. Zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. All right, let's go ahead and let's do odds. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. Great job. Let's go ahead and do our even numbers. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. And finally, let's count by tens. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. 100. Great job. All right, so let's look at our, whoa, look at today's pattern, friends. So today's pattern has, hmm, 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 11, 10, 9. So we are counting backwards by ones, right? So we have 11, 10, 9. So we need to figure out what number is going to go here. And remember, I taught you a clue of count from here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So what number should we put here? Okay, well, I don't know. We'll try it. So let's see. We'll do 14. And we're counting back, friends. So 14, we're going backwards. All right, 13, okay. Okay, let's go back. 14, 13, okay, we'll do 12. Now, let's see if we did this correctly. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Ding, 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 ding. That was fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and look at our digital clock reads 1.30 or half past 1 o'clock. Analog clock reads half past 10 or half or 10.30. So we need to match our analog to our digital. So we're looking for half past 1 o'clock. So the first thing we got to do, friends, is... Let's look for one o'clock first. <laughs> All right, so there's one o'clock. So now we gotta do half past one. I want you to pay attention to the hour hand and see what happens as I am drawing or moving near half past. I'm going to stop right there. And what happened to the hour hand on the one? What happened? Aha, uh -huh, it moved. So now the hour hand is between the one and the two. It is now half past one o'clock or 1.30. Digital clock reads 1.30. Analog clock reads 1.30. Ta-da! Very, very good. All right. Now, really quickly, friends, looking at our 100s chart. Okay, we're going to add 10 to a number. Okay, so here we go. Ha, um, let's count. Let's count by twos. We're going to add 10. All right, so here we go. 2, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. Excellent, friends. All right, so I will see you guys in just a little bit for morning meeting. So make sure that you are ready. All right, friends, see you in just a bit. Bye.